the sciatic nerve block. Using the lateral approach for the sciatic nerve block, the dog is positioned in lateral recumbency. Both the greater trochanter and the ischial tuberosity are identified. An imaginary line is drawn between these two structures. Under aseptic conditions, an insulated nerve stimulating needle is inserted along this imaginary line between its cranial and middle thirds. The needle is inserted at 60 degrees with respect to the surface of the skin. The nerve stimulator is set to deliver an electric current of 1 milliamp at a frequency of 2 hertz. The needle is slowly moved until there is dorsiflexion of the foot elicited by the stimulus of the sciatic nerve, and this is used as the endpoint. Contraction of the biceps femoris muscle only indicates the needle is too superficial and it should be inserted deeper. The current is decreased by 0.2 milliamps at a time until the final current of 0.4 milliamps can cause a muscle contraction. But at 0.2 milliamps, the contractions disappear. Contractions should be continuously observed, otherwise, the needle is repositioned. Persistence of muscle contractions at 0.2 milliamps may indicate the needle has been inserted into the nerve. Aspirate for the presence of blood and then inject a volume of 0.05 to 0.1 milliliter per kilo of local anesthetic. Note that the caudal gluteal artery and vein are located caudal to the cytic nerve and its muscular branches. When used in combination with the femoral nerve block, anesthesia will be produced to the distal femur.